I have received the following communication from YouTube. Dear Phil Hellenes, this is to notify you that we have received a privacy complaint from an individual regarding your content. Blah de blah blah. The information reported as violating privacy is at 107. We would like to give you an opportunity to remove or edit your video so that it no longer violates the privacy of the individuals involved. Please edit or remove the material reported by the individual within 48 hours of today's date. If no action is taken, the video will then come in for review by the YouTube staff and be prohibited from being uploaded again. Protecting a person's privacy is protecting their personal safety. When uploading videos in future, please remember not to post someone else's image or personal information without their consent. Personal information includes things such as names, phone numbers and email addresses. For more information, regards the YouTube team. The video concerned is What Islam Fears? Laughter. I have 48 hours to remove the video or it will be reviewed by the YouTube team and almost certainly removed. I will not be removing that video. My thoughts on the matter are as follows. Firstly, the user I believe to have made the complaint, whom I shall not name for it was his ideas, not him, that I wished to mock, has about 20 videos on his channel showing his face, including the one which inspired my video. His video is called Get Ready for Your Grave Torment. It's still on his channel and readily available for all to see. His original video, Get Ready for Your Grave Torment, has in excess of 8,000 viewings, while my critique of it has just over 60,000. While I understand that my critique has given him some unwanted attention, it should be noted that he has not taken his video down, nor any of the others showing his face. From past experience on YouTube, I know that when people feel genuinely threatened, the first thing they do is remove their face and often their entire account from YouTube, often within hours. It is on this basis that I conclude that the user concerned does not feel in personal danger. I might still have reconsidered if not for the content of his video. A threat which is literally and deliciously laughable to any moderately educated, mature or well balanced individuals, but one that might unnerve the young, the ignorant or the unstable. I believe that we need to laugh at such nonsense in order to assist those in fear or doubt to see the funny side. Laughter is the antidote to fear. For that reason, I cannot, literally cannot, bring myself to remove my mocking response. Plenty of people have been mocked brutally on videos on YouTube that have drawn millions of viewings without resorting to the understandable privacy protection. I have not named the user concerned, I have not given his YouTube account name, I have not and would not divulge any personal details about him under any circumstance even if I had them at hand. But I will laugh. It's not my fault that I rock like a bastard, or that real, genuine, natural, tear-weeping, rib-cracking, bladder-loosening humour is on the side of the non-believer in any religious debate. I believe that I named my video with precision. It is laughter that all religions fear. This is why they taint so many of their videos with lies and thinly veiled hatred. Instinctively they know that it will inspire anger in you, and that anger kills your laughter, which otherwise you would enjoy like a fine wine. The Prophet Muhammad's threat that those that don't believe in Islam will be attacked in their coffins by angels with hammers, ninety-two nine-headed snakes from hell, and a camel-melting scorpion, the threat that this user saw fit to place on the internet where young children might take such ridiculous yet nonetheless horrific imagery seriously must be seen for what it is a sick joke 
Sometimes laughter is the only thing that can get through to kids. And if I can help one of them, I can't take my video down. I will not take it down. It would feel like betrayal to me. I do not know if this places my account in danger of termination or not. The email from YouTube contained no such threat or warning. Perhaps I'll just get a strike or just lose the video. But even if the threat had been in the email, this is precisely the kind of defiant gesture that, to me, would be well worth losing my account over without any question, hesitation or regret. We must laugh at these ridiculous religious absurdities and those that would have us swallow such garbage. Fear evaporates, walks away in embarrassed, humiliated shame when faced with real laughter. It is more powerful than any logic or any reasoning or any evidence. When you can make the religious laugh at their own beliefs, see the joke for themselves, if only for a second, you can do what no amount of shouting, raging or analytical deconstruction can ever achieve. Will a day come when humanity will detect the funniness of these juvenilities and laugh at them, and by laughing at them, destroy them? <laughs>